Here's everything you need to know about AFK Journey 2, including its release, pre-registration, everything in between, let's get into it. First things first, let's be clear. There's a lot of speculation about when the game will be released, what it'll be, what'll be in it, etc. But just based off of what I've seen from the App Store, a few comments under tweets during pre-registration, and just from discords and DMs of people who are really interested in the game, we're looking at a prime spring-ish release time schedule. Now the App Store, of course, does give a more definitive date, but you're probably wondering if they could just swap the date, if it makes any sense, if they could just push it back. And the answer to that is, yeah, they absolutely could. But ultimately, there are a few things that can affect whether it would or wouldn't be pushed back. But if I'm just being transparent for a second, I'm really not familiar enough with the exact inner workings of how the Apple Store works and what it would take to apply and then reapply or adjust when the game is coming out. But a few things I would say are pretty likely or highly probable just based off of how gacha games in general work. But I would have to imagine that if they wanted to push everything back, it would either cost money or they might have to just reapply and get everything reapproved again because it's been so long since like the last licensing or the the official pre-beta testing loading thing. That being said though, again, these are kind of just educated guesses, hypotheses, like it is what it is. We don't really have any official information just specifically off of like the screenshot that we have with the app store. But if we move along to the Twitter account that I managed to find, there is actually an account that goes by the handle AFK Journey CS, which I'm assuming is short for customer service. And this account has been answering most of, if not all the questions that have been asked under the pre-registration tweet. But again, just to be clear, I don't have any official verification of the account and it has no check mark or the like, but just, just look at this. Is a fan account or someone trying to spread misinformation really going to translate and answer questions for fun? Probably not. That being said, the response that is regularly provided to those looking for a release date is that they're officially planning to release or launch the game in the first half of 2024. And of course, in line with the App Store, March does just so happen to be in the first half-ish period of the year. And again, this could be subject to change just because they do end up using words like plan to be, etc, etc. But this is the most up-to-date information I could find between the two information sources to pinpoint a general release date. Now that the registration is out of the way, I do want to give a few tips to new players interested in playing the game before you begin. In my opinion, the two or so things that generally hold me back from enjoying gacha games the most is the FOMO and my desire to completely, you know, min-max my energy, don't have any energy wasted, and also wanting to collect everything. But true to its name, AFK Journey really is fine with you being away from your keyboard. Or maybe away from your kids if you're too invested. Either way, something that I know that I touched on in my early review of AFK Journey 2 was my fascination with the idol reward. But rather than fixate on the reward itself, I do want to mention that hand in hand with being okay with taking this game casually is just how easily the dopamine kicks in when you log back in after a while and claim a load of rewards. Now again, just logging in and receiving a bunch of free rewards after being AFK for a while already kind of sets it apart from most gacha games that don't have literally the word AFK in its title. But truthfully, AFK Journey 2 certainly nails the feeling that I want to return to, even after having been gone for days or weeks from not playing this game. These rewards, in tandem with a very lucky roll like this, really puts into perspective just how starved you can be or what like low standards we already have for gacha games because of how saturated they are on the market. But long story short guys, remember to consider the feeling or respect that you were given when playing a gacha game for the first time. Again, some of the game producers or developers are kind of predatory and honestly they just make you feel bad regardless if you're a whale, you're a free to play, you're a casual, you're a sweat. And the second thing I wish I had remembered before starting endlessly pushing through the main story was to make sure I understood how this hand of resonance thing worked. Personally, I just followed the tutorials, upgraded characters left, right, and center, regardless if they were epic quality or not. But then I realized that this mechanic actually helps a lot in terms of saving your resources and kind of where your future investments will lie. In essence, your resonance level affects the levels of all characters on your team, meaning that if these Hands of Resonance characters were level 20, the Resonance heroes that are associated with them would also be level 20. That just means that you have to spend less in terms of upgrading. And this is a lot of value when it comes to actually upgrading and playing and saving your resources at the start of the game. So in short, though the skills and viability of characters are subject to change, remember to upgrade characters that are actually worthwhile or ones that you actually enjoy playing because you're already kind of doing a bunch of min-maxing anyways, 
might as well do it while playing a character that you like. Any other characters that you don't like can just remain in the Resident Heroes page. The third and major final tip that I would suggest for those looking to make big strides, especially early in, is to remember to progress your AFK challenge alongside the main story so it doesn't fall too, too far behind. I'm sure all of you guys can just do the math and see why this is really, really worthwhile, but I will admit that even after the end of my first day playing, I had completely prioritized completing quests and equipping better gear, pulling for characters, all overdoing this mechanic which is pretty much just in my face and literally in the title card of the game. But now that we finally established things to do once the game releases, let's have a conversation about release and specifically the pre-registration one last time. At the moment, should you log in and register to AFK Journey 2, you gain access to Leica, receive 10 invite letters, and you also get 1,000 diamonds. Don't quote me on the math, but I'm pretty sure that's like around 10 or 20-ish pulls at base. So what are you waiting for? Just check the game out. What's that? PvP isn't the end game? Well then what's the end game? Yes, despite my best efforts, I still am just a simple man. And of course, I fall for vanity traps all the times. And these vanity rewards that you get from pre-registering, the collector in me just has to have it. I've always been someone that kind of pre-orders games in order to get like limited skins or like, you know, early access packages. I'm a sucker for stuff like that. So ultimately, if you don't want to miss out on that and so much more, make sure to pre-register right now, guys. But anyways, guys, I will be including the link for everything, pre-registration and any of the things that I've linked to here in the description down below but it is time limited guys so make sure to act fast and finally guys to end things off i do just want to try a bit more pulls maybe i'll get lucky who knows here goes nothing here we go surely surely our set works here just give me a reward just give me a reward please oh it's great unlucky oh i guess i am pulling Odie. all right that's not very good okay surely on my third and I got another mini acorn. Okay, but honestly, who needs it? Who needs it? Who needs it? What if we what if we do this? Okay, how how about a guaranteed 10 pull, huh? The perfect, the perfect pulls? Show me the perfect epic. Oh, that wasn't very good. Uh I think this is the pre-registration character. Okay, so we've got imprints. Let's go again. Please, 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 please. Orange. Damn. Kind of just got screwed, to be honest. I guess they're imprints. Surely, surely copium. Right. Right, right, right. So I've gotten literally nothing from this. Well, you win some, you lose some. I got literally nothing. That's okay, though. Sucks to suck, I guess. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, turn on the notification bell, subscribe. Let me know what you think about AFK Journey 2. I know it's not quite out yet, guys. Like, I do think that the game is pretty interesting, though. I've had a blast playing it, honestly. Like, I kind of just mindlessly upgrade over and over and over and complete the story and then i like beat up stuff and it looks like there's gonna have like some aspect of like community or guilds and stuff which is just honestly something that keeps me attached to most gadget games anyways but of course guys make sure to check out the rest of my socials discord youtube tiktok twitch twitter etc etc i'll see you guys on the next one adios